tensor size B. So our, our answers should either be should only be equivalent only, both equal and equivalent because we have established the connection that when sets are equal, they're also equivalent or neither, meaning they, can, they are not equivalent, they don't have the same number of elements and they're also not equal, they don't have the same elements. So let's start with number one. We have sets B and C containing, uh, for set B containing elements 370 and sets C containing the elements 037. So the first thing you need to determine is whether they are equal. Okay, why? Because if you have shown that they are equal, you can now say that they are both equal and equivalent as what we have established it earlier in our uh, learning checker. If, if the sets are equal, they're also equivalent. So that's the first thing you need to consider. If they are, they are not equal, proceed to whether they are equivalent or not. If they're equivalent, so the answer is equivalent only. If they are not equivalent, definitely the answer is neither. So let's start. Are they equal? Are, do they have the same elements? Three is here, so and the other side as well. Seven, seven, zero, zero. So we have the same elements. So they are equal. At the same time, we have three elements three for B, three elements for C. So they are also equivalent. So the answer to the question is both equal and equivalent. That's the answer for number one. Number two. Again, the first thing you consider is whether they are equal. Number two, set of numbers between two and four. And set D, a unit set containing only a three. If you have problems in answering this, you need to write your sets in roster form. So the roster form for the roster form for this set, roster when you list them, is a set containing three okay oops take note what is mentioned is numbers it does doesn't say whole numbers it says numbers in short part of the answer here is 3.1 3.2 and so on and so forth just by looking at the elements, you already have 3.1 here, and your set D only contains 3. They cannot be equal anymore. Okay, equal meaning they have the same elements. How could they be equal if there are elements on one that is not found on the other? So they are not equal. So both cannot be an answer. Let's proceed to the next one. Are they equivalent? When you say equivalent, how many? For set D, you only have one element. That's why it's called unit set. For the roster form of the first set, you have three, 3.1, 3.2, and you have the dot, 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 meaning they are infinitely many. So are they equal? No. Since they are not equal, uh, sorry, are they equivalent? No. Since they are not equal, they are not also equivalent. So the answer for number two is neither, or you could read neither if you want. Number three, set of letters in the word little. Set of letters in the word little. And the set E containing the letters of the word tile, T-I-L in E. Before you answer whether they're equal or equivalent, again, determine the roster form of the sets. Set E is already in roster form. It's okay. So we're going to write the roster form of set, the first set little so you have the elements l i t do i need to write another t no because in set in writing sets there should be no duplication okay so do i need to write another l no so what i need to write last is e so this is the roster form of the set of letters in the word little. 
So since the two sets are already in Rosser form, let's determine whether they're equal. So we have T, T, I, I, L, L, E, E. So they have the same elements, therefore they are equal. Next, how many elements are here? Four. How many elements are the other, other, other set? Four. They are also equivalent. So the answer to the question for number three is they are both equal and equivalent. Number four. Set of even numbers and set of odd numbers. Okay. Let's determine whether they're equal or not. Are there, if you say even numbers, example, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so on and so forth. When you say add numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, so on and so forth. Just by giving this, the first five examples of even odd numbers, they're not the same. Therefore, they cannot be equal. As for equivalent, let us has, ask how many. How many even numbers are there? infinitely many how many odd numbers are there infinitely many so are they equivalent both of the sets have infinitely many elements they are therefore they are equivalent so the answer to the question for number four is they are equivalent only how about number five Let's, let's try. Looking at number five, set F is a set of numbers, one, nine, four. And the, the part, the, its pair is set of English names for months that starts with letter J. So there are, since there are no names for English months that starts with a number, they can't be equal anymore. Kasi number yung set F. So let's proceed to equivalent. How many English names for months that starts with letter J? So you have January, June, and July. You have other months that starts with letter J? English names that's of months that starts with letter J? No more. So there are three month English names for months that starts with letter J, and there are three numbers in set F. Therefore, they, they are equivalent only. Number six, set of prime numbers less than 10. So let's write it first in roster form. Set of prime numbers less than 10. Prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, and 7. 1 is not a prime number. The definition of a prime number is it has factors 1 and itself. The factors of 1 is 1 and itself, which is also 1. That's contradictory, or in mathematics, we call it contradiction. Therefore, 1 cannot be a prime number. The smallest prime number, it is also the only even prime number, is 2. So we have four prime numbers less than 10. The next prime number is 11, which is not any more less than 10. So we only include 2, 3, 5, 7. How many grade 7 sections are there in CMULHS? I've been repeating this. You have diamond, jade, topaz, emerald to be. You have five. So they cannot be equal anymore because grade 7 sections are names and prime numbers are numbers. So they can't be equal. As to equivalence, they're not any more equivalent because we only have four prime numbers less than 10 and we have five grade 7 sections in CMULHS. In short, the answer for number six is that neither. Number seven, the last item for practice exercise B of module number two. So you have here set of letters in the word Facebook and set of letters in the word messages. Okay, do not immediately say Equivalent because you have eight letters for Facebook and eight letter letters for messages. No, please write it them first in the roster form. So the roster form for the Facebook letters of the word Facebook contains F, A, C, 
E, B, O. Do I need to write another O? No, because there should be no duplication. Lastly, K. So instead of eight letters, you actually in a set form, roster form, you only have seven. As for messages, M, E, S, S, no, don't need to write another S, no duplication, A, G, E is already there, another S is already there, so this is your roster form for the set of letters in the word messages. So, just by looking at the example, just one, exa one, one element, F is here, but there's no F in the second so they cannot be equal because equal meaning they, have, they both have the same elements. As for equivalence, this has seven elements. This has five elements. In short, the final answer for number seven is that they are also, in terms of equivalence and equality of sets, neither, no relationship. There might be relationships from other types of sets. So when you go to joint and disjoints, there are also relationships. But as for equivalence and equality of sets, number seven means neither. So this is the second video for module number two. Hopefully you have learned and we still have one more next time. Goodbye.